In this video, we're gonna talk about contactors. Now, this particular contactor, uh, it's 120 volt contacts with a 24 volt coil. So a contactor works off electromagnetic switch. Uh, it's used for switching electrical power in a circuit. A contactor can be controlled by a circuit that has much less power than the switch circuit. So if we look at our contactor here, what that's talking about is I have a 24 volt coil. My contacts, my power side is 110 volts, 120 volts there. So we're using a 24 volt switch to control 120 volt circuit. You can use contactors that are a little beefier. They can handle more amperage than a relay can. Uh, so we're just kind of going to go through this, uh, check how to check the power, check the coil on them. So this contactor, think of this as two different parts. You know, we have our 24 volt coil. You'll see that on the sides. We'll have one here and here. Sometimes they'll put them behind the contacts itself. Uh, always check to make sure that the coil voltage is what it is before you hook power to it. Like I said, this is a 24 volt coil. If we want to check out this contactor. Now if I put my leads here, I have 120 volts on this side. This side, I have zero volts. I have a little light bulb up there that's not on. Why isn't it on? Because our contacts are not energized. What that electromagnetism does, if we energize that coil, if we put power to that coil, it creates a magnet. That magnetism pulls our contacts shut. So I can just push that down. I can make that light bulb turn on. If I turn on my switch, light bulb comes on. If I check that, let me turn this light back on here. So I have 24 volts, 26 volts to this coil. If I kill my switch, I shut off my coil voltage, the light bulb goes out, but I still have my 120 volts to this side of the contactor. I don't have anything to this side of the contactor because no power is going through there. So 24 volts to the coil, when we energize that, you can hear that snap, that contactor closes. Now, if you run into a situation where, say I'm reading coil voltage, I have 24 volts to that coil, my contacts aren't pulling in, check that cover, make sure there's nothing getting behind there, uh, keeping those from closing, or you just have a bad contactor. Now, we can take this and check it out with our continuity tester. We'll put it on the beepy beepy part. So no continuity. Coil pulls in, we would have continuity through there. If I got continuity, I should have power going to that light bulb and that light bulb will turn on. So again, if you have power going to the coil and our contacts don't pull in, probably got a bad contact or coil that's gonna need to be changed out. But think of this as two different separate pieces. We have our coil and we have our contacts. We can put power here at 24 volts to close a 120 volt circuit that can control a light bulb. And that's just a little bit on contactors.